If you are lusting for a Louis, then you must watch this review. Hey guys, have a fun handbag review for you today. It's one that wasn't necessarily on my radar until I came across it in a store. I tried it on, I really messed around with it a little bit, and you'll see what I mean in just a moment, and then I was sold because it just is a good utilitarian bag that hits all the major style points. I'm talking about the Louis Vuitton Epi Twist PM. I've already unboxed this, I've already worn it a few times so it doesn't have the original packaging, but you get a sense of what it looks like and how it arrives, whether you order it online or you purchase it via a retail consignment site or you go into the store and pick it up yourself because Louis Vuitton's packaging is absolutely sumptuous. I love it. I purchased this one though from Fashion File. I will link to it down below. I love Fashion File. I love Bag Borrow Steel. I like Trendly. I like Luxury Garage Sale because I hate paying full retail price for certain items because many times you can find luxury designer bags in just as new condition, like new condition, brand new, or fair to excellent condition, depending on your preference, a condition that will allow you to keep carrying it for as long as you want without having to pay the full retail markup. So I'm a big believer in those luxury consignment sites because they guarantee authenticity of their bags. So let's get right to it. This particular bag comes in the beautiful brown, substantial Louis Vuitton box, uh, pretty thick, I apologize, dusty closet. I keep all my bags in their original dust bags and their boxes. That's just the way I store them in my closet. Let me take it out for you. It comes in the dust bag. I'll just show you a few of the other things. You know, it came with the uh, Louis Vuitton leather wrap as well as the care card. You can see right there. The interior of the boxes is so nice. Beautiful, stiff, sturdy cardboard. So here's the bag itself. You see the dust bag. So then you see right here, it's actually got the original sales sticker on the back. The Twist Chain PM Epi Noir. The Twist Lock Bag with the chain strap, the PM size, the Epi Leather in Black Noir. Ta-da! Here it is. Oh, it's got the V. V for victory. <laughs> here you go. Um, so here, oh, let me pull the chains out. Much better. So this is it from the outside. And it just, it's, it's really clean and elegant. It's got diagonal lining, striping, if you will, however you want to call it on the epi leather, the classic Louis Vuitton epi leather. And the twist turn lock is so fun. It's the V when it's unlocked, and it's the LV when it's locked. Simple as that, very sturdy, good lock on it. I'm gonna get to this in just a moment. If there's one downside of this bag, it's the cutout right here, and I'll get to that in just a second. So pretty, so elegant, a really classic, clean, clean line. There's the bottom. No nubs on the bottom, so when you do sit it down, it does sit on the bottom. The, the leather does touch the ground. So I'm gonna read from the website right now. It's roomier than it looks. The cleverly designed wave base provides extra space for storing necessities. The new twist features an updated version of the signature turn lock rendered with a 3D Bombay effect. The metal closure has a modern architectural feel. What I like about this bag is its versatility because you can truly carry it as a shoulder bag like this or you can extend the strap fully like this and you can carry it as a crossbody bag. Super cute as a shoulder bag. You could even, this is why I like the versatility of this bag so much. You can even toss everything inside and carry it as a clutch. It's a perfect going out bag. See? There it is as a clutch. It's really three bags in one, a crossbody, a shoulder bag, and a clutch. Uh, great for going out, 
great if you're running errands on a Sunday or Saturday weekend, or if you work on the weekends during uh, during the week. Um, more of an upscale bag, in my opinion. Certainly not an everyday bag for me. Uh, I work and I carry a big GG New York bag for work that I'll link to down below. It's sort of my kitchen sink everything bag that holds my laptop, my my uh, my little pouch that I carry around, my makeup, my hairspray, everything that I need. Um, but this for me is sort of a going out bag, um, upscale errands bag, if you will. Let me give you some insight on the inside. Open it up and you see it's beautifully lined. That micro suede on the inside, beautifully lined, nice adhesive right here, beautiful stitching as you can see. I don't feel like this is gonna go anywhere or this is gonna go away. Sometimes with the Louis Vuitton canvas, um, you see the threading pull apart, you see the seams pull apart, you even see the canvas develop some, some holes from wear and tear over time. This feels a little bit sturdier. The inside of this particular bag, this is an older bag, has two pockets. One open slat pocket right here on the front. And then on the back, this is so cute on the back, do you see? It's got a tiny little pocket with a mirror. Actually, the mirror still has, I think, the, uh, the film on it. <laughs> the mirror still has a protective film on it. I've, I've had this bag for about a year, but I really haven't carried it that much. Um, I'm not going to take it off right now, but it has a cute little Louis Vuitton mirror, just like that, with the epi leather that's attached to it so that you can pull it out with ease. It says Louis Vuitton right there. Um, super cute, utilitarian bag, it does everything that you need it to do. Now my one little area of concern about this bag is right here on the front flap. I feel like knowing me, knowing how clumsy I am, I could rip this. Now I know the leather itself is rather sturdy, but I feel like this is so thin right here that I could get this hooked on something if I'm not careful in locking this and rip it. Now when you do lock it, it doesn't go to the right. It only goes to the left. When you turn it, you turn it to the left. Um, great bag. It, it, it costs some money. That's why I did not pay full retail for it. I decided to go um, the consignment route, the luxury consignment route. Cannot recommend this enough. I've heard some people say that it's just too heavy for them when they are... Um, when they've fully loaded up the bag and um, they're running around that it's too heavy, that's not my issue. Um, I'm 5'11", I'm a taller girl, I'm a bigger girl, so I can, I can carry around stuff with size, so that doesn't really bother me. Um, I don't feel like I have any shoulder pain on this. And speaking of shoulders, the strap is nice and substantial. Again, I've heard some complaints about the shoulder straps, that um, it almost cuts into your shoulder when you have the bag completely full. Again, I haven't felt that issue at all. You can see a little bit of, um, you know, ribbing, if you will, horizontal ribbing, if you're looking at it this way, on the shoulder strap from use, but that doesn't bother me. These are screwed in. You can see the screw on the back side. You can see the chain here. Nice, substantial chain, not a lightweight chain. I don't feel like if you load this bag up, it's going to fall away or fall apart. So I think this bag is an absolute timeless classic, definitely one that I can pass along to my daughter. What about you? Do you think it's a trendy one, or do you think it's one that could be a part of your handbag collection for years to come? Louis Vuitton certainly seems to have gone all in on this particular bag. If you go online, you see that there are a number of colors and sizes for the Epi Twist Lock collection even a number of fun patterns that Louis Vuitton is doing now that are a little bit trendier, but certainly chic nonetheless. I love this bag. I'm going to be carrying it today and um, look forward to carrying it every time I do, which is definitely not enough because I'm always carrying my work bag because I work a lot. If you liked this video, I would love it if you hit the like button. I'd love it even more if you subscribe and, and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye.